Here's a segment from this month's edition of St. Charles Parish Today, a new monthly local talk show. Water meter readers are probably the most visible of all parish employees. These nomadic staff members read each and every meter in the parish, both commercial and residential, on a monthly basis, reporting usage to formulate accurate water bills. At first glance, you may think it's a simple job, but public information assistant Dewan Petrie found out otherwise in her recent ride-along. Let's take a look. What if your job involved walking past every single house in St. Charles Parish? That's what a water meter reader does every single day. So let's follow him today and see what his job involves. This is Jerry Davis. He just started out on his daily route. This is the first of 500 water meters he will read today. All right, this reading on this meter is 1901. This will be the reading, the present reading on your water bill. You leave off two numbers, there's four and a zero that's stamped. You leave that off. So all, all household meters just read up to the first black line, 1901. That is the reading for this meter. Okay. Every side of the river is broken down into four quadrants. So your, your water meter is read once a month. So it goes on this side of the river, it goes narco months. The next week, you're going to read new Sarpy. The next week after that, it's Ormon. And the week following that is going to be St. Rose. Then the cycle repeats itself. So your average water bill should be approximately the same amount all the time. If your bill is a lot more, you might want to come to check your meter for a leak. Sometimes there is a five week cycle the way it falls, so you can expect probably roughly seven to ten dollars more, but if it's a lot more than that, you might want to check and make sure you have a leak. Black triangle that's moving right now, this is what they call a leak detector. That measures any small amounts of water that goes through the line. So if anyone wants to check and see if they have a leak, if they're not aware of it, this little triangle will let you know. It is moving, so they use any water or they do have a leak. If there's no water going through it, which it shouldn't if you don't have no water running, this is going to be at a dead still. And a lot of toilet problems, if you hear your toilet running by itself, mm -hmm. that will add a good amount of water to your water bill. And a lot of people are not aware of that easily thirty dollars I see it all the time so that's the biggest culprit seven at least eighty five percent of your leaks going to be the toilet and you can shoot right now there this is what it's supposed to look like if you're not using water it's at a dead still a little black triangle we roughly read around 450 to 500 meters a day you might wonder how your meter reader gets all those readings right day after day every house for instance, this address right here has a meter number, its own meter number. So we pull this up, which this meter number is 631-04044. This is assigned to a certain house. So when we read the meter, if the consumption comes up high or low, we have to first check and make sure that we're at the right meter because this meter dictates what household it belongs to. The meter reader then enters the number into a computerized handheld device. At the end of the day, all the readings from the handheld device are transferred into the computer at the main office. They download all the readers in the computer. So the computer has an average of what each household goes. So if we pull up and the readings higher than normal, either they have more people living here at this time, visiting, or leak or something, they use more more consumption than they normally do. So that's why we have to double check it. And then later on, if the consumption is high, the girls in the back office are going to send us with a service order to check and make sure they have a leak. We do that just, you know, to help the public. It's a courtesy. And a lot, a lot of people aren't aware that they have problems. The handheld device not only checks your water usage, it also keeps an accurate account of the meter reader's movement throughout the day. The device actually has a timestamp. It tells you every time you read a meter, you know, where you're at when you read a meter, how long it took me to get there. You know, it tells me when I stop. I mean, it, it tells you everything. On this day, Jerry is training a new meter reader. And after 14 years with the parish and four years as a meter reader, the trainee is learning from one of the best. Because so far this year, after reading thousands of meters, 
Jerry has only had one error, which was printed out by the computer, and as usual, the meter was rechecked and corrected before the bill went out. We want accuracy, and he's doing very well. He's double checking himself. The first thing, if the if the meter goes off, I tell him to check, and make sure you had the correct meter. If he's had the correct meter, then you know double check your reading because this is how you get your merit raises, and if you don't get that, you don't get a raise. This job isn't for everyone. Biggest nuisance we have is dogs, and actually the most dangerous, we find a few snakes in the boxes, but the black widow and brown widow spiders uh, outnumber all of them, so that's the ones you really gotta watch where you put your hands on. And there's one low-tech tool that every meter reader carries. Right here is, so you don't blow your back out, and that's questions asked all the time. I mean, if you bent down and picked up every one, and especially if some of these are real tight, you're not gonna pull them up by your hand. And then some routes require the most advanced technology. You know, some routes, you cannot physically walk it. We have to read it out of the truck. And that's where we're going to a lot of electronic meters on river road routes, airline, highway route, US 61, highway 90. We're putting a lot of traffic, but the traffic's real bad. We put electronic meters to cut down on our reading time and biggest part is for the safety. Uh, you, re you read it with a, um, a computer that's, once you drive down the road, it automatically picks up. As we pass by, this, this the um, meters put out a reading and it, it can pick up for miles. We've had them pick up well over three miles. We picked up readings with these electronic meters. We got a computer that sits in the cab of the truck and you just ride by and every 15 seconds, a new electronic meter spits out a reading and the computer just picks it up as we, as we go by. And we've picked up meters well over three miles away with the new electronic meters. So it cuts it at. The biggest thing with it is you can also tell the history of when this meter turns off and when the meter shuts off. It tells you everything. It's good at that and it's also a good safety feature because you're reading out of a truck, you're not going against traffic. There are thousands of meters that have to be read each month, and all of them are read and maintained by a small group of dedicated parish employees. We have two, two meter readers read each cycle, and then we have one that does service orders. And that's for both sides of the river, two on this side, and two on the other side, and we have one service order on this side, and one service order guy on the other side. So the next time you open your water bill, you can rest assured that you're not only getting the best tasting water in the state, you're also getting the best service. Catch the entire episode right here on Channel 6, daily at 5 p.m. Or watch anytime at scptoday.com.